Hello, I am Rich Maddalino, the Chief Administrative Officer for the Montgomery County Government. There are some exciting things happening around economic development and growth in our county that we don't talk enough about, like our record low unemployment. As I speak, County Executive Mark Elrich is currently in India and soon to be Vietnam for an economic mission meeting with businesses and government officials to find ways to encourage more international trade and commerce here in Montgomery County. By visiting India, we can tap into one of the globe's fastest growing life sciences sectors in Hyderabad, which has gained the nickname of Genome Valley. We've already signed two agreements to help companies expand into the United States through Montgomery County. Next week, the delegation from our county will be in Vietnam talking with leaders in another fast growing economy. Back at home, we are moving quickly to create the new Institute for Health Computing with our partners at the University of Maryland College Park, the University of Maryland Baltimore, and the University of Maryland Medical System. This new research facility in North Bethesda will use big data to assist academics in the life sciences field make advancements in medicine and address health disparities around the globe. The innovation potential here is very exciting. I hope you will enjoy our video about this exciting initiative that will create more opportunities for our residents and for Montgomery County businesses. Please take a moment to watch it and I encourage you to share it with your friends, family, neighbors, and colleagues. Leading a healthcare revolution, Montgomery County sponsors development of a new high-tech economic center. At its heart, an innovative life sciences institute designed to foster the next generation of skilled talent, uniting the power of computer technology with higher education to transform the future of medical research and putting Montgomery County at the forefront to become the home for this pioneering area of science and innovation. I want you to imagine that in the very near future, the nation will describe Montgomery County as the Silicon Valley of healthcare computing. We stand today at the cusp of another powerful revolution of medicine through the use of the advanced computing, including AI, artificial intelligence, virtual and augmented reality, and other deep data. We're here because Mark, County Executive Mark L. Rich, had a vision. And I don't know why you were worried, Chancellor Perman, about his deep knowledge of spike proteins. He's a College Park graduate. You forgot about that. The ability to capture the images or proteins or whatever you're using as candidates to block that spike protein goes a hell of a lot faster if you can use a computer. As County Executive Mark Elrich just said, the spike protein was designed and uncovered at NIH right here in Montgomery County. This was the home to the solution to the vaccine for the pandemic that allows us to be here. That is why Montgomery County is so special. By bringing all the newest high-tech tools to bear on big data, uh, we're going to be able to make breakthroughs in all these areas, public health and also developing cures uh, and treatments uh, to, to diseases. We're already doing a lot of this work, but there needs to be more done. And we have nearly 300 biotech companies already located here in Montgomery County. And that means there are about 40,000 employees doing that work day in and day out here. And this project that we're working on is only gonna to add to that. It joins the deep expertise of the University of Maryland uh, in advanced computing and the equally deep expertise of UMB and UMS, UMMS, in human health. And when you leverage the first, advanced computing to advance the second, our health, it's a wonderful thing. Great things will happen. Our Empower partnership, our two universities, are in the top 10 of public universities in this nation in research funding. That's pretty significant. We are gonna be on the cutting edge of changing science. We're gonna be able to provide support to the institutions in this county, to the companies in this county, and we're gonna become a magnet for more companies. And our ability to grow that industry, our ability to become number one in the country, which is my goal, is a reasonable goal, 
And it's something that's going to bring jobs. It's going to bring high-paid, decent jobs to this county. And the other thing it does is if you succeed in something like this, other people will want to be here. We had a presentation from JLL. They showed us an overhead map of how much science is in the 270 corridor. It is amazing. It doesn't have a center. We're going to have a center, and it's going to be in a metro. And believe me, the metro is going to make a difference in our ability to attract people here and do business here.